work out, then I might sort of use them numbers. But at the moment, I'm just going to really choose numbers that don't have any relevance to me at all. Um, and I'm going to start with you, David, number three. Best of luck, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you, David. Number 14, please. Stephen, you're a lovely man. Had a lot of fun with you. Good luck. 10,000. <laughs> um, I'm going now to the lovely D, box 19, please. Good luck, Stephen. Thank you. Different, it really is, and everyone says it's so different when you sit here, sort of seeing everyone sort of in front of you. Um, I'm gonna go for Tess, box number one, please. Ah, any words of wisdom for the <laughs> banker, Tess? I'm more concerned about the banker's health today, you no, know, in case he got the bugs going around. You're concerned about his health, yes, no. And if he's a little under the weather, what would you recommend, Tess? He needs a tender, loving care. <laughs> 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 Could you? <laughs> the way she does this, whatever. Ooh, come on, keep it blue. Yeah! Come on, he's really paid out tiny money this week. This time, we want a big payout for you. Don't touch that block, and no, you'll get I'm a very strong it. opening. Okay, the final box I'm going to choose is Penny, number 22, please. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> great. Really, really good. You've got a great smile and you have every reason to smile. That is marvellous. Four blues. One red. You must be feeling good. I do. That is, um, it's a really sort of strong board for the, the opening rounds. I've taken out two of his power five and kept mine intact. And you've got that little psychological advantage that yeah. you are not going to be a member of the One P Club. <laughs> Hello, banker. Hey, <laughs> you're on a roll, are you? He says it's going to be his greatest week ever, guys. Stephen is in your way. Stephen, the accountant, he says you could be a tricky opponent. You know a joke about accountants. I thought accountants were no laughing matter. What do accountants do when they're constipated? They work it out with a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. OK. Um, he's looking in the file and he's noted how many games um, that you've been giving advice. He says there is a theme of similarity in that advice and so he wants you to be very much on the ball today. Right. And consider every offer very carefully. OK. It's a good opening offer. It's a VAT opening offer. 17 and a half percent. 17 and a half thousand pounds. The theme running through your file notes is every single time you gave advice to anybody, regardless of the situation, you always said, but think what the money means to you. Yeah. 
and he said time and time again to me, make sure Stephen thinks what the money means to him. Yeah, I mean, that is a brilliant, a really good, really generous offer for, for the board. Um, but I'm here to play the game, so I'm ready to move on. OK, £17,500. Deal or no deal? A really good offer, as I say, but no deal. Thank you. The next box I'm going to go for is Tan number 20, please. OK, Tan, how are you today? You all right? Fine, thank you. Yep. Laughing yourself silly as absolutely, usual? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Best of luck, Stephen. Thank I you. See you. Smile, <laughs> smile. Sorry, Tan, do, do carry on. Thank you. Rich, I'm going to ask you, have you got any suspicions <laughs> for me? No. <laughs> the worst psychic, the worst mystic, mystic mess, we call him. <laughs> if he says, oh, I've got a big red, it's worth going for it, it'll mean a small blue. I think it's a big red today. I've not had anything in about 20 games, over 20,000. So I'm definitely due a big number. I'm going to go for you. I'm going to go for box <laughs> two. You sure? Yeah. So if it's a big red, which one is it? 75. 75? Hope not. Sure, Steve. Yeah. It will spoil the uh, very powerful position if it is. Good luck. <laughs> 20. Jamie, box number four. OK, please. Jamie, welcome to the game. We get mixed Love. fortunes with newbies. Are you going to produce a blue for us? I hope I am, mate. You sure? I, yeah, I'm definitely sure it's a blue. Isn't it? Absolutely certain that it's going to be a blue? As certain as I can be. You're very <laughs> confident. <laughs> very, very confident. At this moment, this is looking fantastic. Jamie, don't spoil it after the break. Do come back. Feeling very good at the moment. Seal's still on. You want to go with the newbie, Jamie? Yes, please. Still yeah. going with you, Jamie. So would you now please reveal that blue we want? The best of luck, mate. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> OK, one tiny glitch, but how do you feel about it now? Um, yeah, I'm still very confident. I've still got the power five. I've got the backup of 15. And I've still got a few blues and low reds as options to take out should I continue. It's good. Yeah, that's no, very good. Yeah, I'm very happy. Have you been dreaming about the game? Um, I had a dream last night that I spoke to the banker. Um, and that was in like, a shopping centre or something, which was very, very weird. Like, the phone rang. It was in the middle of like a shopping centre. And I picked the phone up and had a bit of a chat with him. And it's, it, didn't say, it didn't say anything really sort of relevant. I can't actually remember the conversation, but it was nothing nasty or anything. It was just sort of a general sort of chit-chat sort of conversa conversation, which was very surreal, but... It gets to this game, doesn't it? It does, it does. <laughs> Dream about it. Hello. In a shopping centre, yes. <laughs> now, I appreciate that you're not a hoodie and you don't hang around in shopping malls. <laughs> Tricky. Tricky for you. It's looking good for us. He's been a pain. Oh, he's been at pains. To point out. Oh, that's a point. You have actually got on your file the fact that you've said on more than one occasion you wouldn't leave the game if three of the Power Five were still there. I did, yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't. Well, that tempts him just to offer swaps until they've gone. <laughs> He wants his big week, and he's not going to risk you going away.
with mega money in that box. He's therefore offering you now, it's important for you to think what the money means to you, £23,000. Strong offer. He's gone up from 17 and a half. He's now at 23. Enough? Um, that's Enough a, to toddle off. It's a very, very nice sum of money. £23,000 in anyone's book. It's a very, very nice sum of money. Um, and as I've always said, I think to a lot of contestants, a lot of my advice was don't be seduced by the board. Think about the money in real terms, that is real money. And if £23,000 was sitting in front of me now, I'd grab it with both hands. I really would. But looking at that board, it's a really, really strong board. I haven't touched any of my power five. I'm confused. Why are you confused? Because you just said if 23,000 was sitting there in front of you, you'd grab it with both hands. I would do, but well, then... 23,000 is sitting there in front of you. Yeah, but I have the, what I meant is that I've got the opportunity to go even further and to win more money. If it was just a case that that, that is all, that would be, you know, the offer and that the money was sitting there and there'd be no chance to be able to win more than that. Then I was obviously taking it. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a risk, it's what this game's about. It's a risk, it is a risk. <laughs> 23,000. If it was here in front of you, you'd take it with both hands. It is here in front of you, but you're not going to take it with both hands. Someone gave me £23,000, that's what I mean. They just gave it to me and we weren't playing Why would this they game. do that? Well, that's what I mean, though. they wouldn't, they wouldn't. And that's why I said I would take it with both hands, obviously, then. Well, so, well, if a complete stranger came up to you and offered you £23,000, I, I think you'd do what everybody else would. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I was, first of all, worried, you know, I was worried where it come from, first of all, I'd be a bit... Money, You're in a fantasy it? world. <laughs> I'm still You're back my, in the shopping I mall with phones sound. ringing. I'm and still there. Hello, banker. Oh, still... somebody with twenty-three thousand pounds. <laughs> I think you crept into my dreams last night. <laughs> I'm being being sick. No, I get the drift. Uh, basically, twenty-three thousand pounds. You think is a significant sum of money. It's a very good offer, but there is more in the game. Yes. Why didn't you say that? <laughs> well, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, OK. Yeah. £23,000, deal or no deal? Again, a fantastic offer. Oh, don't but just say no, it. Deal. <laughs> no deal. <laughs> no deal. No deal. It's no deal. But you did think what the money meant to you? Oh, I did. Yeah, I good. always okay. think about what the money means to me. Good. Right. The most important thing. Yep. Right, I'm going to go to box number 21, Kerry, please. Oh, she's not feeling very well, are you? Oh, no. oh I'm all right. Oh, what a voice! <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, I really hope that this is blue. You're fantastic. Good luck. Thank oh, you. Kerry, give us a blue. Thank you. Go oh, on, go on, darling. <laughs> 5,000. Thank you. Good luck with that. Yeah, 3,000 downwards, don't touch the power five, and you're going to get more than 23,000 in the next offer. I'm now going to go to our new mummy, Philomena. I really hope this matches your T-shirt. Thank you. 35,000. <laughs> Could have been worse. Charlie, box yep. number 18, please. Charlie, 10p or 50p would be absolutely tickety-boo. I'm doing my best. I'm really going to miss you, Stephen. I think you're absolutely ice. I'm going to miss you, Stephen. It's beer blue. Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, lovely oh, lady. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Lovely lady, how very obliging. Two of his power five, four of yours. I wonder what the significance of the 35,000 is going to be for him. I don't know. I really don't know. It's going to be an interesting one, Stephen. Hello. Very, very strong board. It's making you very, very nervous. Ooh. 
Twenty-seven and a half thousand. Oh. Right. That is a brilliant offer. It's I, a thought, offer. I honestly thought he might stick it because I took up thirty-five. I'd go up four and a half. That's something. That is good. I really appreciate He's that. He's worried about you. Can I do a bit of a sweep, please? Yes. Do you want to do it or shall I? Um, you can do it. I think you'll be better at it than me because I'll just I'll be there all day otherwise. Obviously, one of those shopping centres and all sorts. I'll try and keep it brief. OK, we'll get it. So is it <laughs> advice for you or what they would do if they were sitting in the chair? What they would do if they were sitting here. OK. 27 and a half thousand pounds. What would you do? Deal or no deal? No deal. 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 Definitely no deal. Definitely no deal. Strong board, Stephen. No deal. 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 Even I'd no deal on that. No deal. No deal. That's quite conclusive. Um, Laura, what do you reckon? You've got an amazing board there. Um, I would probably say no deal, but go with your heart, basically. Okay. Seriously, do think about what the money means to you. Yeah, no, I have done. Um, and I'm ready for the question. Stephen, twenty-seven and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Deal. <laughs> You <laughs> naughty boy, you caught us all out there. I know, I know, it's a, a, I just... I know, I've always said, if you've got three of the Power Five, carry on. And I, I do really, I do still believe You're that. You're four of them. But I know, but I've just got a bad feeling that the next couple of rounds I'm going to take out big right. numbers. I just had a feeling. OK. You do realise you've exited with one of the strongest boards we've seen for a long time. Yes, yes, I realise that. Yes. OK. I'm going to call a break now. And I think it'd be a good idea if you came back because 27,500, he's dealt. Has he blown? Life changing money. Come back. Hi, Jay here again. You could still win the contents of the box chosen after. This is fascinating. We have a situation where the banker might just have bought a 50p box for 27,500. Or he could be on to one of his bigger victories. Because just look, you talked about dreams. This is the scenario that most people dream about. At this stage, to have four of the power five. You always said, if you had just three, you'd go on. So you shocked everybody. But you might just be right. We want you to prove you've done something incredibly clever. We now have to find the big numbers. But you must play on with honesty. Will do. Um, I'm going to carry on taking out numbers that don't mean anything to me, as I was before. The boxes I would have left would have been 13, 11, 6, that's my birthday, and box 10. OK. So on that basis, I'm going to go for uh, J box 16, please. OK, Steve, I hope you've made a, a good decision, mate. Good luck. We've got to get the quarter mil. No, that's a great start. In fact, that was the perfect start. If he hadn't said deal. Um, I would have then gone for Christine box number five. If this is not the quarter million, we've got a big problem. Stephen, you've given lots of advice and words of wisdom. I hope you've made a wise choice. No, it would have been fine. 3,000 was absolutely fine at that point. With four of the power five sitting there, Stephen, 
even if we find the quarter of a million, I've got a feeling he would have offered you more money. Okay, I'm going to go for box number nine. I'm going to go for Jay. Okay, this simply has to be the quarter of a million. Steve, you know, as I said, I've had a lot of big reds, including no. five big ones. I, I really still would have hope, gone for you. I really hope I'm continuing the trend. Thousand, it would have been a wonderful round. In fact, it would have been the round that most people were thinking would be inevitable, which is why virtually every pilgrim thought there was one more in the game. At least one more. You went too soon. <laughs> yeah, I think we might be testing that smile of yours. OK. We've arrived at 8-box, for the Power 5 in place. Very unusual scenario. At this point, you would have been offered £55,000. Oh, it's the 50% chance that you've got at least 50 grand in the box. I just had such a bad feeling, I really did. I really had a bad feeling about the next round. That's purely the only reason why I doubt. Well, your 27,500 is safe, but you could have had 55,000. And what would you have thought then? Just for me, would you have gone on? Um, no, yeah. not 55,000. I would have doubt, definitely. Right. I would have definitely doubt 55,000. OK, you went at 27,500. We know you went one deal too soon. You now have to have a round of catastrophic proportions. You've got to find all three of the big ones. Well, again, I would have carried on, obviously, as I would have, leaving my favourite numbers intact. And I would have gone for Jeff, box number 12, please. OK, Jeff, we know what we simply have to see. Thank you. I hope this is a power five. Got to be the top end. No, you see? Again, absolutely fine. Well, if the next two are blue, Steve, you undoubtedly are in the Hall of Fame for squandering one of the greatest games we've ever had. OK, I would have gone for box 15, Steve. Steve, it has to be one of the top numbers. I'm due a big red number in my box, so... Good. All the best. Yes. <laughs> You've created such an extraordinarily powerful game that what is unbelievable about that situation, it almost certainly wasn't enough. You've certainly got to find the quarter of a million. I know. Leaving my favourite numbers, I would have gone for Kelsey, box 17. Kelsey, please <laughs> deliver the quarter of a million. Mate, I'm going to miss you. I really, really hope I've got it. No, you've got the 100,000. <laughs> it certainly qualifies as a disastrous round, but imagine if you were still in play, we would be squealing and shouting, saying, believe, 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 the quarter million is there. Sixty-six thousand. Even though you had that disastrous round with a hundred going in the seventy-five, Steve, you'd created such a powerful game, he'd have still had to go up to get you out of the chair. <laughs> oh God. Okay, we go on. We know what you must find. Okay. Um got all my favourite numbers left now. Um, I love box 13, so I wouldn't have even touched box 13. So I think I would have gone for my birthday, number six. OK. Nigel, please deliver it. Oh, End his me. agony. <sighs> Come on, this is a big one, I hope, for you, Steve. No! Great start. Great start. This was actually, if you had still been in play, one of the best games we've ever had. OK, 
go to Miles, box number 10. Miles, come on, end his agony, find it, reveal it. This is the big one. No, it's not. It's perfection. Is he actually going to pull out an all-blue round and leave 50 and a quarter of a million? In which case, you do not want to learn about the offer. If you manage to leave a red finale, if this is five pounds, get an anaesthetic. Well, I was obviously gone for... For 11. The last box number 11, Nathan. Yeah, because you were going to keep 13, which means so much to you. Nathan, it has to be it. Best of luck, mate. Quarter of a million. 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 Yeah! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ooh, the relief here is tangible. You blew 55,000, then you blew 66,000. Thank goodness. You didn't blow a quarter of a million, and the offer at this point would have been 17 and a half thousand. We'd have been back to your opening offer. Well, I feel really disappointed I didn't have the courage to go one or two more rounds, but I'm just so glad I found that 250, because, like you say, if it would have been left with the 50,000 and the 250, but then I could have the 50 grand there, so... Well, there is a consolation in this, that you might have sold a £5 box for £27,500. Yeah, <laughs> that would be, be not yeah. too bad. It wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> it would be a small consolation, yeah. bearing in mind, undoubtedly, you went far, far too soon. But am I going to reveal that you squandered the chance to have £50,000? I really hope not, Stephen. Because I can feel just how disappointed you are. Could you blow it big time? Yep. Oh. I can't believe that. Oh, I feel as if I'm being hard on you, but I'm, I'm just sensing what everybody here feels. All of the pilgrims were just oh, no. gobsmacked. I've never seen so many shocked faces when you said deal. Even Kelsey yeah, said no deal and oh, she's no. ready, you know, she has a car outside with the engine <laughs> running. I <laughs> know. <laughs> oh, I just had such a bad feeling that it was just going to go horribly wrong. I just thought my luck's got to run out somewhere and it never did. You little pessimist, you. I oh, know, I always have been a pessimist. I mean, I've, I've got 20, 27 and a half thousand pounds, and that, that's, that's brilliant, that is fantastic. I'm really pleased with that, that is, that is great. I'm really happy with that. Well said, well said. <laughs> Chunky sum of money by anybody's standards. <laughs> Joyce, complete the game, please, and reveal where the five pounds is. Thank you, Joyce, it's sitting over there. <laughs> Stephen, 27 and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> Thousand, three thousand, ten thousand pounds in these boxes. He looks very worried that he's been selected. You are Simon. Simon. Would you say one, two, or three? Three. Three. We're going to box three. Will you please open it for us? Ten thousand. Well done. And will you open the other two? Thank you. Open them, please. £10,000. Thank you for taking part. There's your reward. Well done. £27,500 for him. And I'd like to apologise to you, because I suspect what you did was you threw whatever you had in your hand at your television set when, when he said deal at that point. Honestly, the atmosphere here was incredible, and the frustration as we went on to reveal... Oh, my word, Steve, you just hung on a bit longer. 55... Then 66, and he had a box of 50,000 in it. What a shame. Join us tomorrow. We'll have a different player, a different game, and hopefully a different attitude. See you then. Numbers, I just had a feeling. OK. 
you do realise you've exited with one of the strongest boards we've seen for a long time. Yes, yes, I realise that. Yes. OK, I'm going to call a break now, and I think it'd be a good idea if you came back, because 27,500, he's dealt. Has he blown? Life-changing money. Come back. <laughs> Hi, Jay here again. You could still win the contents of the box chosen at the... Oh, welcome back. I knew you'd come back. This is fascinating. We have a situation where the banker might just have bought a 50p box for 27,500. Or he could be on to one of his bigger victories. Because just look, you talked about dreams. This is the scenario that most people dream about. At this stage, to have four of the power five. You always said, if you had just three, you'd go on. So you shocked everybody. But you might just be right. We want you to prove you've done something incredibly clever. We now have to find the big numbers. But you must play on with honesty. Well said. Um, I'm going to carry on taking out numbers that don't mean anything to me, as I was before. The boxes I would have left would have been 13, 11, 6, that's my birthday, and box 10. OK. So, on that basis, I'm going to go for uh, J, box 16, please. OK, Steve, I hope you've made a, a good decision, mate. Good luck. We've got to get the quarter mil. No, that's a great start. In fact, that was the perfect start. If he hadn't said deal. Um, I would have then gone for Christine, box number five. If this is not the quarter million, we've got a big problem. Stephen, you've given lots of advice and words of wisdom. I hope you've made a wise choice. No, it would have been fine. 3,000 was absolutely fine at that point. With four of the power five sitting there, Steve, even if we find the quarter of a million, I've got a feeling he would have offered you more money. OK, I'm going to go for box number nine. I'm going to go for Jay. OK, this simply has to be the quarter of a million. Stephen, you know, as I said, I've had a lot of big reds, including oh, no. five big ones. I, I really still would have hope, gone for you. I really hope I'm continuing the trend. Thousand, it would have been a wonderful round. In fact, it would have been the round of catastrophic proportions. You've got to find all three of the big ones. Well, again, I would have carried on, obviously, as I would have, leaving my favourite numbers intact. And I would have gone for Jeff, box number 12, please. OK, Jeff, we know what we simply have to see. Thank you. I hope this is a power five. Got to be the top end. No, you see? Again, absolutely fine. Well, if the next two are blue, Steve, you undoubtedly are in the Hall of Fame for squandering one of the greatest games we've ever had. OK, I would have gone for box 15, Steve. Steve, it has to be one of the top numbers. I'm due a big red number in my box, so... Good. All the best. Yes! <laughs> You've created such an extraordinarily powerful game that what is unbelievable about that situation, it almost certainly wasn't enough. You've certainly got to find the quarter of a million. Leaving my favourite numbers, I would have gone for Kelsey, box 17. Kelsey, yeah. please deliver the quarter of a million. Mate, I'm going to miss you. I really, really hope I've got it. No. <laughs> You've got the 100,000. <laughs> it certainly qualifies as a disastrous round, but imagine if you were still in play, we would be squealing and shouting, saying, believe, 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 the quarter million is there. Ah, 
66,000. Even though you had that disastrous round with 100 going in the 75, Steve, you'd created such a powerful game, he'd have still had to go up to get you out of the chair. <laughs> oh God. Okay, we go on. We know what you must find. Okay, um, I've got all my favourite numbers left now. Um, I love box 13, so I wouldn't have even touched box 13. So I think I would have gone for my birthday, number six. Okay, Nige, please deliver it. Oh, End it his me. agony. <sighs> Come on, this is a big one, I hope, for you, Steve. No! Great start. Great start. This was actually, if you had still been in play, one of the best games we've ever had. The theme running through your file notes is every single time you gave advice to anybody, regardless of the situation, you always said, but think what the money means to you. Yeah. And he said time and time again to me, make sure Stephen thinks what the money means to him. Yeah, I mean, that is a brilliant, a really good, really generous offer for, for the board. Um, but I'm here to play the game, so I'm ready to move on. OK, £17,500. Deal or no deal? A really good offer, as I say, but no deal. Thank you. The next box I'm going to go for is Tan, number 20, please. OK, Tan, how are you today? You all right? Fine, thank you. Yep. Laughing yourself silly as absolutely, usual. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Best of luck, Stephen. Thank I you. Smile, smile. <laughs> Sorry, Tan, do, do carry on. Thank you. Have you got any suspicions <laughs> oh, for me? No. <laughs> the worst psychic, the worst mystic, mystic mess, we call him. <laughs> if he says, oh, I've got a big red, it's worth going for it, it'll mean a small <laughs> blue. I think it's a big red today. I've not had anything in about 20 games, over 20,000. So I'm definitely due a big number. I'm going to go for you. I'm going to go for box two. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. So if it's a big red, which one is it? 75. 75? Hope not. Sure, Steve. Yeah. It will spoil the uh, very powerful position if it is. Good luck. <laughs> 20. Jamie, box number four. OK, please. Jamie, welcome to the game. We get mixed no. fortunes with newbies. Are you going to produce a blue for us? I hope I am, mate. You sure? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely sure it's a blue. Anyway. Absolutely certain that it's going to be a blue? As certain as I can be. You're very confident. <laughs> <laughs> very, very confident. At this moment, this is looking fantastic. Jamie, don't spoil it after the break. Do come back. Three of the power five was still there. I did, yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't. Well, that tempts him just to offer swaps until they've gone. <laughs> he wants his big week, and he's not going to risk you going away with mega money in that box. He's therefore offering you now. It's important for you to think what the money means to you. £23,000. <laughs> Very strong offer. He's gone up from 17 and a half. He's now at 23. Enough? Um, that Enough is a... to toddle off? It's a very, very nice sum of money, £23,000 in anyone's book. It's a very, very nice sum of money. Um, 
and as I've always said I think to a lot of contestants a lot of my advice was don't be seduced by the board think about the money in real terms that is real money and if £23,000 was sitting in front of me now I'd grab it with both hands I really would but looking at that board it's a really really strong board I haven't touched any of my power five I'm confused why are you confused because you just said if 23,000 was sitting there in front of you, you'd grab it with both hands. I would do, but well, then... Well, 23,000 is sitting there in front of you. Yeah, but I have the, what I meant is that I've got the opportunity to go even further and to win more money. If it was just a case that that, that, is all, that would be you know, the offer and that the money was sitting there and there'd be no chance to be able to win more than that, then I would obviously take it. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a risk. It's what this game's about. It's a risk. It is a risk. It's 23,000. If it was here in front of you, you'd take it with both hands. It is here in front of you, but you're not going to take it with both hands. If someone gave me 23,000 pounds, that's what I mean. If they just gave it to me and we weren't playing this game... Why would they game, do that? That's what I mean, though. They wouldn't, they wouldn't. And that's why I said I would take it with both hands, obviously, then. Well, so, if well, a complete stranger came up to you and offered you 23,000 pounds, I, I think you'd do what everybody else would. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'd first of all, one worries, you know, I'd worry where it come from, first of all, I'd be a bit... Money, You're in a fantasy it? world. <laughs> I'm still back my, in the shopping mall with phones say, ringing. I'm still there. Hello, banker. Oh, somebody with twenty-three thousand pounds. <laughs> I think you've cracked into my dreams. I'll start. <laughs> I'm being minxy. No, I get the drift. Uh, basically, twenty-three thousand pounds. You think is a significant sum of money. It's a very good offer, but there is more in the game. Yes. Why didn't you say that then? <laughs> well, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, okay. Uh, 23,000 pounds, deal or no deal? Again, a fantastic knockout. Okay. Big right. numbers, I just had a feeling. Okay. You do realise you've exited with one of the strongest boards we've seen for a long time? Yes, yes, I realise that. Yes. Okay. I'm going to call a break now, and I think it'd be a good idea if you came back, because 27,500, he's dealt. Has he blown life-changing money? Come back. Hi, Jay here again. You could still win the contents of the box chosen at the... Oh, welcome back. I knew you'd come back. This is fascinating. We have a situation where the banker might just have bought a 50p box for 27,500. Or he could be on to one of his bigger victories. Because just look, you talked about dreams. This is the scenario that most people dream about. At this stage, to have four of the power five. You always said, if you had just three, you'd go on. So you shocked everybody. But you might just be right. We want you to prove you've done something incredibly clever. We now have to find the big numbers, but you must play on with honesty. Will do. Um, I'm going to carry on taking out numbers that don't mean anything to me, as I was before. The boxes I would have left would have been 13, 11, 6, that's my birthday, and box 10. OK. So on that basis, I'm going to go for uh, J box 16, please. OK, Steve, I hope you've made a, a good decision, mate. Good luck. We've got to get the quarter mil. No, that's a great start. In fact, that was the perfect start. If he hadn't said deal. Um, I would have then gone for Christine, box number five. If this is not the quarter million, we've got a big problem. Stephen, you've given lots of advice and words of wisdom. I hope you've made a wise choice. No, it would have been fine. 3,000 was absolutely fine at that point. With four of the power five sitting there, Steve, even if we find the quarter of a million, I've got a feeling he would have offered you more money. OK, I'm going to go for box. Number nine, I'm going to go for Jay. OK, this simply has to be the quarter of a million. Stephen, you know, as I said, I've had a lot of big reds, including no. five big ones. I, I really still would hope, have gone for you. I really hope I'm continuing the trend. A thousand, it would have been a wonderful round. 
In fact, it would have been. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a risk. It's what this game's about. It's a risk. It is a risk. <laughs> <laughs> it's 23,000. If it was here in front of you, take it with both hands. It is here in front of you, but you're not going to take it with both hands. Someone gave me £23,000, that's what I mean. They just gave it to me and we weren't playing this game. Why would they do that? Well, that's what I mean, though. They wouldn't, they wouldn't. And that's why I said I would take it with both hands, obviously, then. Well, so, well, if a complete stranger came up to you and offered you £23,000, I, I think you'd do what everybody else would. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I was, first of all, one worries, you know, I'd worry where it come from, first of all, I'd be a bit... Money, You're in a fantasy it? world. <laughs> I'm still back my, in the shopping mall with to phones to ringing. I'm still there. Hello, banker. Oh, somebody with twenty-three thousand pounds. <laughs> I think it's cracked into my dreams last night. <laughs> I'm being minxy. No, I get the drift. Uh, basically, twenty-three thousand pounds. You think is a significant sum of money. It's a very good offer, but there is more in the game. Yeah. Why didn't you say that? <laughs> that's, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah. 23,000 pounds, deal or no deal? Again, a fantastic offer. Oh, don't just no, say deal. That. no deal. <laughs> no deal. No deal. No deal. It's no dealing. But you did think what the money meant to you? Oh, I did. Yeah, I good, always okay. think about what the money means to me. Good. Right. The most important thing. Yep. Right, I'm going to go to box number 21, Kerry, please. Oh, she's not feeling very well, are you? Oh, no. oh I'm all right. Oh, what a voice! <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, I really hope that this is blue. You're fantastic. Good luck. Thank oh, you. Kerry, give us a blue. <laughs> Thank you. Go oh, go on, darling. <laughs> 5,000. Good luck with that. Yeah, 3,000 downwards, don't touch the power five, and you're going to get more than 23,000 in the next offer. I'm now going to go to our new mummy, Philomena. I really hope this matches your T-shirt. Thank you. 35,000. <laughs> Going to go for Charlie. Box yep. number 18. Please. Charlie Tempe or 50p would be absolutely tickety boo. I'll do my best. I'm really going to miss you, Stephen. I think you're absolutely ace. I'm going to miss you, Stephen. Thanks, Beard Blue. Yeah! Thank you. Deal. A really good offer, as I say, but no deal. Thank you. <laughs> The next box I'm going to go for is Tan number 20, please. OK, Tan, how are you today? You all right? Fine, thank you. Yep. Laughing yourself silly as absolutely, usual. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> That's the look, Stephen. Thank I you. Smile, smile. <laughs> Sorry, Tan, do, do carry on. Thank you. Have you got any suspicions <laughs> oh, for me? No. <laughs> the worst psychic, the worst mystic, mystic mess, we call him. <laughs> if he says, oh, I've got a big red, it's worth going for it. It'll mean a small <laughs> blue. I think it's a big red today. I've not had anything in about 20 games, over 20,000. So I'm definitely due a big number. I'm going to go for you. I'm going to go for box <laughs> two. You sure? Yeah. So if it's a big red, which one is it? 75. 75? Hope not. Sure, Steve. Yeah. It will spoil the uh, very powerful position if it is. Good luck. Jamie. 
box number four. Okay, yes. Jamie, welcome to the game. We get mixed no. fortunes with newbies. Are you going to produce blue for us? I hope I am, mate. You sure? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely sure it's a blue. Anyway. Absolutely certain that it's going to be a blue? As certain as I can be. <laughs> You're very confident. <laughs> very, very confident. At this moment, this is looking fantastic. Jamie, don't spoil it after the break. Do come back. Welcome back to Stephen's game. Feeling very good at the moment. Seal's still on. You want to go with the newbie, Jamie? Yes, please. Still yeah. going with you, Jamie. So would you now please reveal that blue we want? The best of luck, mate. Thank you. One tiny glitch, but how do you feel about it now? Um, yeah, I'm still very confident. I've still got the power five. I've got the backup of 15. 